Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel and today we are going to learn that what is the Git and many things about the Git. So first of all, let's uh, I'm just going to show you the topics that we are going to cover in this video. So first of all, we will see that what is the Git, that why we have to use it, where we can use it, how we can use it and the history and some more points. And at the last, I will just ask you the one interview question about the Git and this interview question is uh, from the this current video so you just have to attempt this intro question also so and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel I'm just going to make the complete playlist for the git and it at the uh, every video at the last I will ask the interview question for the git also right so now first question is what is the git for that I just want to take you on the Wikipedia and just I want to uh, mention some lines so let's check the first line git is a distributed uh, version controlling system to track the changes in the source code in a software development that it will just clear that git is used for software development and uh, this will track the change inside the source code and the source code not just mean only the source code file it, it can be the image also and it can be the some other file also which is included in our uh, repository and we will tell uh, I'll tell you in the uh, detail in the next upcoming videos so Version control means that can control the file version. So let's say uh, you are just working on a first day and you push the some code and after the one year you just want to get the code which you, uh, which you just uh, worked on the first day then you can also get the first day commit and you can get the tenth of the day code and uh, any code that you want to just get you can get it from here. That's why he can it can control the version of our software or our product all right so now uh, the another use case of it is that so let's say uh, four developers are working on a same project and that how they will share the code for that uh, they can make a, con a git repository and here every developer will send the code here all right and git is actually smart enough to understand that how he can manage the four developers code even it, it can manage if four developers are working on the same file still git can uh, easily handle and uh, make a useful code for it right so this you don't need to worry about that you just have to send the code inside the git repository and it will automatically handle everything all right sometime you will go to the conflict when the two lines on the same code have the on the two lines then it will just tell you that you just have to choose the one thing and we will discuss which we call the git conflict and we will discuss in the next video also so this is the second use case so if we are just many developers are working on the same repository then we, uh, we can choose like it all right and at the last but not the least let's say you are just want to work from the uh, office as well as from the home then what you will do you will just push your code from uh, office in the git repository and the home you will just get this code within a seconds on your home and you can just work out here and you can uh, update after the your git repository after the work and you will get the code inside the office also so you, you don't need to carry this your code inside the hard drive pen drive or any email system also so this is much pretty easy all right so now uh, next thing is why we use it and what is the git we just discussed that where we can use it so there is a lots of way that you can use but majorly there is a three website here you can use you can uh, use the git by the git lab you can use the bitbucket and you can use the github on the these three platform using the similar git command line so if you just uh, worked on the github then you uh, everything learn about the github also and uh, git lab also because the three platform using the same command line same command will be used for all the platforms this is the awesome git feature all right so you don't need to learn the uh, different command for the different platform nice so here you can use and how you can use uh, for the use you can if you are just using the windows or you can using the mac then you can download the git from this official website you can just click here and it will be currently downloaded here all right and if you are just in the my system i have i am just using the ubuntu then you can just use it by the command line or even you don't need to 
just install it this is a pre-installed in your ubuntu so if you just write here git minus version and you will get the version here and you can directly work uh, for the git without any installation inside the ubuntu basically all right so now let's see some more history and all so let's come back here so the first release was git in the 7th april 2005 around the 14 years ago and a stable release is 2.240 all right and uh, it just uh, uh, you can use it in the, the post ix and linux windows ubuntu almost every major operating system and what is the type of this application this is the version controlling system basically you can see that and git.scm.com this is the official website of git these are not the official websites of git because they just using the git platform this is the official website of the git here you can see that all right so these are the major things about here and uh, these are some versioning points that you just want to if you just want to go here and these version are very old and these are we can uh, see that these are the just uh, uh, we can see that they are the supported version by the gate and this this is the latest one all right so thanks for watching this video and my intro question is that uh, is it git free or paid or this is a limited level of free or uh, after the some features or accessing the full feature we have to pay something else what do you think and you have to google it out and you just have to answer of this question in the next video we will learn some git terms like what is the git push what is the git pull what is the commit what is the add what is the branch and all we will learn everything about the gates so don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video if you have any kind of suggestion opinion anything that you have in mind about software engineering you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel i just ask you again thanks for watching this video and i really appreciate your valuable time